Thank you. Hello. I'm Mike Quackenbush, and I make professional wrestling. Thank you. Uh, I'm the upside down guy in this photo. It was snapped in the last match that I had, and although you will not see me in the ring anymore, I'm still involved in the training of aspiring pros, and I work with the uh, wonderful bunch of creative types you were so kind to name drop, Chikara. <laughs> Outstanding. Thank you. I'm passionate about professional wrestling. I think pro wrestling is the most misunderstood form of entertainment on the planet. <laughs> And I also believe it's the most fascinating and wonderful kind of performance art you could ever hope to experience. So why? Why is professional wrestling so misunderstood? Why is there such a stigma associated with being a pro wrestling fan? I think it is because for years, wrestling was stuck in this closeted cycle of self-loathing because we are not legitimate sport. I'm sorry, Adam. We're not. But we masquerade as that in the same way that the Harlem Globetrotters masquerade as competitive basketball. Pro wrestling is performance art. And the flavor of wrestling I like best is akin to a comic book come to life. It is colorful costumes. It is superhuman feats of strength and agility. It's heroes and villains. It's comedy and tragedy and larger than life characters. The exact tropes that hooked me on the Justice League and the X-Men are what attract me to what happens in the ring. Yeah. But for too long, the pervading belief in professional wrestling is that we could not come clean, that we could not be frank with our audience about what we are. And maybe this was born out of a need to project a tough guy image, or maybe this was born out of a desire to feel like we belonged to a secret society that had access to some sort of insider information. Or maybe it is because so many of us cannot bear the sound of the word fake. The risks we take to entertain our fans, the sacrifices that we make along the way, the passion that we pour into this pursuit of ours, all of that is very, very real. And it cuts like the worst kind of insult if someone were to summarize your risks and your sacrifices and your passions with the word fake. What's important to understand is that pro wrestling fans do not enjoy what we make because, well, they must not get it, right? They don't understand what it is. They think it's legitimate, no, no. Just like when you crack open a Harry Potter novel, or you tune into Game of Thrones, or when you buy a ticket to the newest Marvel movie, you check your disbelief at the door, and you expect that in exchange for this, you'll be provided with an escapist experience. That's the magic of it. And I know this all too well, because having been seduced by that magic at a young age, I have spent the balance of my life trying to make it and share it with others. Unlike any movie, TV show, any novel or comic book, pro wrestling is a uniquely dynamic experience. No movie will respond to your cheers or jeers. A novel will not high five you should you pass by. Uh, a television show is a static experience projected onto a 2D screen, but a professional wrestler may land in your lap if you happen to be seated in the front row. We are just now finally beginning to open up about what we are, and this at last gives us license to explore our form's potential, because for too long, wrestling has been content only to explore what it can be through the lens of legitimate sport. Well, what is professional wrestling through the lens of science fiction or through the lens of a murder mystery? What is pro wrestling through the lens of ballet? The best kind of pro wrestling aspires to take you on an emotional journey, to thrill you when an underdog triumphs, to resonate with you deeply when one tag team partner betrays another. It engages you in the chase for glory, and it drags you through the valley of defeat, and it even grants you access to that most intimate of moments when someone's lifelong dream is fulfilled. Our audience really experiences these emotional highs and lows with us, and the restorative catharsis our performance generates is shared between the people that craft it and the fans that go on the journey with us. My friends, there's nothing fake about that. <laughs> 